Good morning. This is Friday, the 16th of September. It's about quarter till nine, and the temperature has gone up to 52. It was 49 a few minutes ago. This is still Friday, and we're up here checking on our garden plot. We pulled up one squash and planted uh, broccoli seeds in there. And then we left the other squash, it's still got small ones. And down here, we weeded around the spinach that came up and planted more spinach. The golden rod has bloomed out a lot since we were here before. This is Friday evening and we got one spot for the flea market tomorrow. So we brought some of the junk down to, and set it up. We'll do the rest of it in the morning. We didn't want to get it all wet, but this is just old stuff. You ready to cover? We're going to put a cover over it. Yeah, we got it covered, so we're ready to go back. Mm -hmm. Have some supper. We're here at the Land Harbor Yard Sale. We've been here since 5.30 this morning and it was dark and cold. A lot of people, a lot of people here. Now he's got his table over there. It used to be inside, but they moved it outside. And there's more yard sale stuff. It used to be mostly all crafts, but now it's just a whatever you got. <laughs> there's Larry. It's 12 o'clock. We're all packing up to leave. Everybody else is. There's the thrift stores over there taking donations. Anybody wants to get rid of stuff. Today is my birthday, and uh, it's one of the best birthdays I've had in a long time. Of course, every birthday has been great, but uh, this really topped it off today. Uh, we started off with a, we were selling at a yard sale, and um, there was, I don't know, it must have been about 30, 35, 40 sellers there, and uh, in the section that we live in. And we had to be there at 5.30 until 12. And we sold a lot of stuff. We had the alligator stuff and a lot of junk. We sold a lot of junk. <laughs> and uh, but anyway, after the yard sale, Laura surprised me and said that she would take me to the Italian Italian place, and we'll go get some lasagna, which is my favorite, one of my favorites. So anyway, we went to the Italian place and, and had enough for there and to bring home. That was great. And uh, and also got a. A lot of phone calls and an awful lot of happy birthday wishes on Facebook from friends and family and uh, and I love all of them and uh, love all my friends and all the family members and and just had a great birthday and um, Laura still still got my cake to go she's already baked the cake we have to let it cool down a little bit before I can dig in so it had a great birthday enjoying life yet and 78 years old, and uh, I wouldn't say going strong, but I'm going. <laughs> but anyway, I love Lauren and my whole my family and friends, and the Lord's been really blessed me and been good to me. And I want to thank everybody for all the wishes again. Thank you very much. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Larry. Happy birthday to you. So, he's got his cake, but there's no candle this year. He wouldn't let me put a seven on it. I didn't have an eight. So, thank you anyway. That's a good looking cake. I can't, I don't know where yours is, but I got mine. <laughs> this is a jello cake. Yeah. We'll see how it turns out. Jello in the middle of the cake. Pump and, cake. And Cool Whip. Yeah, and Cool Whip. There goes somebody. We're here at church. 
I think they may be singing. It's two after. I'm just starting. I don't like to be late. Yeah, so. I guess I'm glad I'm to be back. Out. This is in Timothy. All those that are going to stand for God, that are going to tell the truth, are going to be persecuted. There's no doubt. He removes all doubt. That's the truth. And that's the truth from history in the Word of God. There's only one way. It's not through the Republicans and it's not through the Democrat and it's not through the government of the United States or any other governmental part of the world. You're not going to find your hope and help by putting it in politics. The only hope we have is through Jesus Christ. He is the only one. Church is over and we're on our way home. Pastor had a really good sermon this morning. I think I'll see if I can post it in the link below. I don't know if I can do it, but I'll try. I finished a touch-up uh, painting on the porch. Got it done. And then uh, I found another jug of paint and I was able to touch up the steps too. So that's all done. This is Friday at 1.30, the uh, 23rd of September. It's about 1.30 in the afternoon, and the temperature is 56 degrees. We had a cold front come through yesterday, and the wind last night was 44 miles an hour. But the sunshine looks pretty. It's Saturday morning, and we're on our way to Newland. Larry wants to sell, and it's... 921 and 51 degrees. We didn't want to go too early. We wanted to warm up a little bit for them before we left. Goodbye. Mm -hmm. Larry's going to church without me this morning. This is Sunday the 25th of September. My nose started running and I feel like I might be taking a cold so I didn't want to spread any germs. It's a pretty morning. And people say, and the people who do that, and it gets on my nerves because I stand up and it's like, I hate that pack over yonder. And you know, and I, but I live for the Lord. You can't live for the Lord and hate stuff. God is not a God of hate. God is not a God of division. Now, God cannot stand sin. He hates sin, okay? God cannot lie. And he hates sin. But God has never one time said he hated a sinner. God has never one time said he hates certain groups of people because they're human beings that need the Lord in, them life, in their lives. Laura's up here. Uh, we're getting ready to go home. She'd been cleaning this roof by hand, uh, years of uh, leaves and, and filth got on there and, and it just don't wash off, you have to get up there and scrub it. So I guess she's going to quit for this year, finish it next year. So, so she's taking the hose down and, and everything else that needs to come down. So I guess that'll be it for this year because uh, there's a storm coming, a hurricane coming, so we need to go back home and make sure everything's in good shape in South Carolina. So we're going to lock it up. This is Tuesday and we're going into town. Larry's pipe came in, so we're going to go pick it up. It's starting to look a lot more like fall. feels like it. I think the high today was 52. The tree lost all the sleeves already. Sometimes those maples are really pretty, but this year they just lost their leaves.
place is kind of neat. There's a church here on the left that's been turned into a house. We stopped here to get the uh, pipe we need for our well project. They're taping the pipe together and fastening it so it won't uh, roll around too much. Nothing will happen to it. Pizzas don't travel very well. They, have, they want to melt frozen pizzas. So since we're going home Thursday, going to try to, we'll go ahead and have a pizza for supper. And we added uh, onions and green pepper, pepperoni, hamburger, and cheese onto it. So down under there is a frozen pizza and then all those toppings we add. It's 146 and 58 degrees. And we are leaving Land Harbor for the summer. Won't be back till next year. As far as we know now. We wanted to get home before the hurricane so that if the power goes out we can run the generator. So we've been working all morning getting everything winterized and drained and went over and got our flu shots. Well, goodbye for another till spring or summer. The mountains over there, the leaves are all green yet. They haven't changed. I think we had, a uh, friend said that they had one frost. There was ice on the windshield one morning. But not much color. We're leaving Columbia and traffic is just, <laughs> just a lot of traffic. I don't know if that's people leaving Florida or rush hour but they're not leaving, they're going in toward Columbia. But it's just been all the way down through, through here. It's all three lane solid. I'm glad we're going south instead of north. and we're still on our way home. Here's the bed of our truck. We brought almost all the flowers back that we could get in here except for the begonias. And we got two, uh, I got a cooler of food and uh, canned goods and blue one and then there's clothes and potatoes in this one. So we just got a lot. Sorry about the dogs. We got Two more containers in here. I guess we still need a coat down here. There, different things. The pretty sunset. Eight twenty-five and sixty-nine degrees, and we are home. Yay! Larry's trying to get his peanuts boiled, his green peanuts boiled before the hurricane gets here. And he took, this bag was clear full when we got it, a bushel. And he took some out this morning. He's got a pot here on the kitchen stove boiling. And now he's getting set up out in the cabana for the rest of them. He washed all the peanuts he put in the pot in the sink before he put them in there. And he uses a half cup of salt to a gallon of water. He's got the gas tank here hooked up and, and got the fire going to heat the water for the next batch of peanuts. There's a pot of water. Now there it is, ready to heat. He's adjusting the fire. Put a in there to the top. Yeah. There's his lid. That looks like it's copper. It is copper. Uh -huh. And he's got his boat paddle over there to stir with. That's for stirring peanuts. Okay, now we got to go get more peanuts put in there. Sounds good. Uh -huh. Oh. <laughs> and 
we put cardboard along the edge of the, the cabana to block the wind from blowing the fire Good out. Idea. It's supposed to be a hurricane, uh, or in between a hurricane and a tropical storm, so I'm not quite sure which yet. So, hope we can get these boiled peanuts done and in the freezer before the hurricane or a storm, whatever it is, coming. But anyway, we're out here having fun. The, the rain gauge is empty, so we'll see how much rain we get from the hurricane. Hurricane Ian. The lantanas are really liking this cooler weather and sunshine. Those have bloomed a lot. The other one over here has too. There we are. They're saying the storm's going to be here around 10, but I think the, they're saying the worst part of it's going to go further more up towards Georgetown, Myrtle Beach. So we'll be out a little bit, more away from the water some too. But I'm running the dishwasher in case the power goes out. That's going to be your main issue for the next couple of hours before the wind speeds pick up as Ian moves on shore back inland. Heavy rain falling right now for most of our inland communities. A live look at Somerville. This is Friday morning, September the 30th, and we're finishing up freezing the peanuts. There's only four bags here, but I've got them scattered in the freezer, so all together we had 48 pints that we froze. So that's a good amount. A lot of work for 48 pints. And then we've got these right here, just a few left. I'm going to try canning those because it would be nice to free up all the space in the freezer and be able to can them instead of freezing them. So we're going to try canning for the first time. But these make a lot of good eating, especially for Larry and all the grandkids. Not counting what we've already eaten. Yeah, not counting what we already ate yesterday while we were doing it. Okay, the... Uh, canned peanuts are ready to go in the canner. I've got seven and a half pints and I'm doing a cold pack. We'll see how that works. So. There they are. I'll just take a little bit of time. 45 minutes at 10 pound pressure. Here's my peanuts after they're all canned. All eight of them sealed. I'll just wait till tomorrow and wash them off and then store them. When it was raining, the rain came up to about four inches from this side door. But it's all run off now. Didn't even flood the yard. I'll show you what we did over here. We had our generator here under the carport all ready to go and filled up with gas. And uh, the way we got it up here was easier than last time. Last time we just pulled it. This time Larry put that cord on it and pulled it with a lawnmower. So it just came right along and got it in here out of the rain and all ready to go. But we didn't need it. That's another blessing. Yesterday I unloaded all the marigolds that we brought back. They're kind of the worst for wear. But I'm going to plant them, I think between the fence and the pavement down through there. But I think they're hybrid, so they probably won't come back next year, but they have pretty blossoms. All the other flowers that we brought back, I put in the greenhouse. This is still Friday, the 30th of September, and the storm seems to be gone. It quit raining about an hour ago. It hit, it hit as a category one uh, south of Georgetown, which is up toward Leslie. So it's more up her way. And even though it rained pretty steady, we've only got slightly less than one inch of rain, which is surprising because it rained steady all day up until about an hour ago, but less than an inch. I've been working in the kitchen, getting, trying to get it cleaned up. I guess I'll just say good night. God bless. Don't think anything else is going to be happening today.